I'm Philip Stoughton, I'm here on the Scoop Studio at Productronica 2017 and I'm joined by Carlos from Nordson Select. Correct. Let's just clarify for people that, that have missed it exactly how Nordson Select came came came, up, came about. It was it was two acquisitions around about the same time. Correct. Beginning of the year, a company by the name Ace Production Technologies and then a company by the name of Interselect uh, based in, in Germany, Ace Production Technologies being based in the state of Washington in the United States. They were acquired, uh, put together, similar products, um, different footprints in the market. So one of them, Interselect, more of a European footprint um, and a little bit of Asia, whereas uh, Norton, uh, I'm sorry, um, Ace Production Technologies, uh, mostly US and Mexico and a little bit of Asia as well. Um, and and that's how it came out. Yeah, and when you you know buy, buying one selective solar company seems like a good idea. Buying two, fascinating. What was it about the two companies that allowed them to come together into into one group simultaneously and for it to be a two purchases and two integrations in one go? Well, it made it really difficult to to do the integration. I mean, frankly, um, it added to my job. Yeah. At the same time, each company brings a set of features on their products and a set of cultures that are complementary. Um, so as a result, as we integrate the products and we adopt one of each's uh, features, uh, I think we're coming up with a stronger offering that we'll be able to to do uh, to gain more market share and yeah. to grow the business more more yeah. quickly. Absolutely. And it was clear, particularly in the US, that the um, the ACE product was, was really gaining some momentum, so timing was good there. So complementary technologies, complementary geographies, hopefully complementary cultures as well. What does that mean in terms of products that you're bringing to the market, and particularly here in Germany? So in Germany, um, because the customer base was used more to the more, more to the inner select products, what they're seeing here is uh, some of the very nice features of the ACE production technologies uh, products being adopted, such as magnetic nozzles, which allow quickly replacement without the need of any tools to replace a nozzle and keep working. Um, such as uh, machine vision, which the products here previously didn't have, um, uh, more ease of use in the software, etc. And we're seeing some some of the features of the Interselect machines also migrate to the to the um, Ace Production Technology machine. So, as I said, um, better set of features, um, very competitive uh, prices and features set. And it doesn't matter how good the product you come up with, the customer is always going to come up with a new demand, a new challenge for you. What are customers asking you to do in the field of selective solder and, and what are you bringing to the market to resolve those challenges? Well, a number of innovations. For example, one, one of the problems that um, in this industry have been extremely hard to solve is maintaining the nozzle tip in a good working condition. So recently we applied for a patent and now we're releasing a nozzle tinner which uh, restores the health of the nozzle without the intervention of, typically it's a person with a brush who flo uh, flocks trying to scrub the nozzle, um, as an example. Um, other features, like I said, the magnetic nozzles that migrated, um, things like that um, are customer appreciated yeah. because they make the operator's life easier. Yeah. Um, and in every aspect, every process of electronic manufacturing now, we're becoming more and more data-driven, we're more data-conscious, we want that, that complete traceability. Is that something we can, we can expect in the selective solder area as well? Absolutely. And we have already uh, uh, ma information management systems that allow us to communicate with the factory automation system and um, you can program the parameters that you want captured and delivered to the to the information system so you can keep track of production. And last question is, you came from another part of the Nordson Group. There's a, a, a whole town of Nordson companies over in the in the next hall here. How do the companies work together to, to achieve best practices, to use that domain expertise alongside the group to achieve better results for customers? So the, the well, in a number of ways, one, one is the previous smaller companies really didn't have access to the better distributors that now, because they carry other Nordstrom products, we have access to. And that gives us um, the ability to work with just a different caliber of organizations. Um, the other thing is that um, the previous companies have a hard, had a hard time accessing the larger customers, like a, you know, in the automotive world, we'd be a Bosch or a Denso and so on. 
Well, it turns out that Asymptec and Dage and all the other Nordstrom products already have a footprint there. So it gives us direct access in two ways, via the distributors and via the, the, the other people that are part of the Nordstrom team that, that, um, that um, already have access. Uh, but more importantly for the customer is the peace of mind of knowing that there's um, a large group supporting them and then um, the pressure that, quite frankly, I get as a, as a business from other parts of Norton saying, you know, if you go into this customer, you're better serving right because he's my customer too, right? Yeah, yeah, and being backed by that Norton brand and being backed by that, that authority is really valuable. Carlos, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for talking to me today. Thank you.